<laughs> nice to see you again. So this is an incredible black comedy, razor sharp dialogue, um, all star cast. What was it that wanted you wanted to make this film for? I really wanted to make a comedy uh, that was wrapped around a tragedy. So it had something very melancholic and quite dark and serious at, at its core, but which people could laugh at cathartically, come out feeling energized, feeling better actually about life, despite the fact that they've been watching this really difficult things. Um, and it was technically a great, uh, very interesting creative challenge to do it in such a minimal bare bones way, you know, all in one setting, all in real time just a few rooms, lots of complicated movements through all the rooms, and, uh, and sort of to, to bring these subjects to life in that way, in that form, was actually really enjoyable. And, and what about this incredible cast? You know, did you have these particular actors in mind when you were putting the film together? Or is it something you developed once you had them on board? How did the casting work? Uh, well, I wrote the script first, and without trying not to imagine any particular actor, because one can get you know, locked in to, to one way of thinking about it. But as soon as I'd finished it and there was a draft that I felt was good enough to present to these actors, I did that. And they were, these were all my first choice actors and they, they saw what they could do with it individually and together, how they could interpret it. And they responded very strongly to the script. So um, that's, it went from there really. And they're, they're very, very generous uh, interpreters of text and they know you know, what they can do with it when there's a lot of contradictions in the character or a big arc of change from the beginning of a story to the end of the story. And it is really stripped back, it's there in black and white, just 71 minutes. You know, what did that allow you to do artistically and what was what was the, the challenge of that um, approach? Well, sometimes when you set certain limits, it gives you a lot of freedom because you have to go deep. There's nowhere to hide. You can't sort of procrastinate or think it's the film will be better with a car chase in it or something if you're all in one place. So this really, in a way, makes you sort of like dive off the edge into something very, very intense. It energizes the whole situation and it makes you be more inventive because if you're all in one apartment with these interconnecting rooms, you have to do a kind of very elaborate choreography of how to make sense, how to bring movement into that situation. So it's quite inspiring, actually. Well, black and white's much more colorful from an emotional point of view because people can project their imaginary sense of realism into what is a slightly abstracted image. It's not really abstracted. The brain makes sense of it and fills it all in. So something happens in the brain, I think, in how it decodes black and white. Also, of course, it's the long tail of cinema. You know, a lot of my favorite films ever were black and white. So it kind of puts this film in, in that lineage. Well, there were a lot of inspirations, but not least the screwball comedies or some like it hot, you know. It is a completely different kind of thing, but black and white, fast, fast dialogue, or Catherine Heaven and Spencer Tracy, or Claudette Kelbo, you know. There's, there's a whole thread, or well, Ealing comedies, actually. Uh, comedy needs to move fast and be sharp and slightly cruel, um, and then people will really laugh.